I was gonna do an outlining video today, but it is currently Tuesday and I am completely stuck. So here's the writing rituals tag. I think I'm wearing the same shirt as last video. This tag was created by Kim Chance and Mandy Lin. Uh, it's been on my radar for a while, I just haven't sat down and filmed it yet. So today is an excellent day. So question one, when do you write? For me, it's nighttime. In the before times, when I had like a normal job and the world wasn't falling apart, I would wake up with just enough time to roll out of bed, get dressed, boil some water for fake coffee, and leave for work. And then by the time I got home from work and finished all the household stuff, it would be like eight or nine. So that's when I would sit down and write. Nowadays in this hellscape, formerly known as the United States of America, I'm writing earlier in the evening. Um, that's actually mostly due to Charlie Dorset and like their writing sprints because that's when they stream. If you don't know who that is, they're an amazing person. I will link them down below. Very interesting things to say. Question two, how do I seclude myself from the outside world? Door. Oh, I hope you can't see my laundry when I turn. Uh, you probably can. This room is a mess. Question three. How do you review what you wrote the previous day? Well, usually I'm coming back to half a scene, so I'll just read the beginning of the scene and do a light edit and then keep on going. Sometimes that light edit is marking half of it for deletion. There's a reason why I wrote 18K last month in the work in progress and the word count only raised by three. I was deleting fool. Oh my god. I don't think I deleted too much of what I actually wrote new. It was mostly old stuff I was deleting. Yeah, I changed a huge plot point, so a lot of stuff changed. Now, if the chunk is too big, or if it says something important that I don't want to forget, like, let's say a character raises a point that I want to keep in there in the story, but doesn't quite fit in that spot, I'll put it in um, a special file that's uh, called Deleted Chunks. Question number four. What song is your go-to song while writing? Don't really have one. I mean, sometimes I like to listen to music, but I can't listen to a song that I really like or I will just listen to the song and not write. Question five. What do you do when you're struggling with writer's block? Generally, I stop writing and browse Tumblr or play a game. Don't take this as advice because this can easily be the exact opposite of what you're supposed to do, but that's just how my brain works. Not thinking about the thing, strangely enough, is the easiest way to figure out what to do with the thing. Like, I am a terrible brainstormer. Terrible. I cannot sit down and actively think about the thing. I only come up with ideas for things I am not actually working on. Like, it doesn't matter how long I sit and stare at the page. Like, no words will come into my brain. Just my brain just shuts off. So I have to do something else. Also has a habit of shutting off mid-conversation, which is never a good thing. Then I'm just like, how do words? What are words? Now it does happen a lot of a lot of times with other things too. Like if I think too hard about what I'm doing, I suddenly can't do the thing anymore. That includes walking, that includes things I've been doing for years, also includes driving, which is not fun when you're driving. Should I even admit that? This is why I don't like to drive at all. Question six. What tools do you use when writing? I assume this means what do I use to write with? If I'm outlining or, you know, getting ideas, then I'll write it down on paper. Like this gigantic mess. By the way, this is just a list of all the things that I remember happened in the last book. So I would have all the info. Well, this is what I have decided might happen. Otherwise, when I'm actually like writing, writing, then I'll do it on the computer. Usually I use Scrivener, but sometimes I'll like, um, I open Notepad, not the Windows Notepad, Notepad++, plus plus. very different. I'll open that up and jot some things down. I've been doing that a lot lately, because now that I'm like counting words, uh, if I write half of something and then I'm going to finish it the next day, I'll just put it in Notepad and leave it there and then count that whole thing as writing on whatever day I finish it because it's 
really a pain in the butt trying to figure out how much I wrote, how much I added, how much I deleted. So that means I'll have like one day where it says I wrote zero, but I actually wrote like 500. But I didn't feel like doing the math to figure out how much I wrote in the end the next day. So it'll be like 500, zero on one day, then a thousand on the next day, but I really wrote 500, 500. Does that make sense? I hope so, because that sounded like I was saying something very confusing. Question number seven. What can't you live without during a writing session? Lately, that's been sprinting. Either online during live writing sprints, or I've been using um, the writer sprint bot in uh, people's discords. I should probably add it to my own discord so I don't like clog up the channels. And I have seen something interesting that if I set a writing sprint for 10 minutes, and if I set one for 20 minutes, I write mostly like a very similar amount. At a 10 minute sprint, I could be um, around like 80 to like 125. But if I do like a 20 minute sprint, I'm like 150, 160. So I guess, I guess 10 minute sprints are better, but I always put in 20 because 20 just feels better. I don't know. Although, if I am in like a good writing mood, running a, a sprint is actually kind of distracting. God, I hope I'm keeping track of these numbers properly. Question eight. How do you fuel yourself during a writing session? Interestingly enough, I have none of the things. I drink a lot of this, probably shouldn't. I also drink a lot of decaf iced tea. And um, at night, I will uh, get like a little ramekin. I guess it's like this much and I'll fill it with uh, sourdough nibblers and I'll have that just as like a snack during the night but that's just like normal that's not writing related the little uh, ramekin of pretzels that's how I keep myself from overeating at night like it can definitely get classes like an eating disorder I will eat at night until like I'm in physical pain and then continue to eat so if I have like a little thing here, kills that urge completely and it's like 200, 200 ish calories. So it's not too bad. Question number nine. How do you know when you're done with the writing session? When I want to die. <laughs> Just kidding. No. <laughs> um, when it's so late that I should go to bed. Uh, uh, that's pretty much when I'm done. Like if I start writing for the night, well, that's what I'm doing for the night. And I won't stop until it's like four o'clock in the morning and I'm like, hey, sun's gonna come up soon. Go to bed. It's kind of rare that I'll pivot to something else. And if I do pivot to something else, it's a video game because my brain got burnt out. So basically, it's when I don't want to do the rights anymore. And that's the last question. Hopefully, I will have figured out my outline by next week. Or at least gotten a little more into the process where I could actually write something about it. But that is a video I do want to make. So we'll see. So anyway, I'll see you next week with a new video and hopefully I will have made some progress. <laughs>